What is going on guys? It is Cory here and I am back with another No Man's Sky video. In this video, I am going to be teaching you guys how to get the maximum amount of slots in your ship. So I'm at the point in the game where basically all I need is a ship with max slots because my inventory has max slots, my ship doesn't, and my multi-tool has max as well. So right now i was working on getting my uh maxed out ship without buying it because it, if you guys have seen any of the pictures uh of the max ships with 48 slots i believe basically it costs like 70 million units and ain't nobody got time for that that's for sure um if you saw my last video on how to make a lot of money that's one way you could do it but it's going to take you quite a few hours to do that probably like an entire day worth of just doing that in order to get enough money to be able to buy the best ship in the game basically so this way is a lot more enjoyable and it doesn't break your bank so i'm going to show you guys how to do it so basically it revolves around repairing crash ships so whenever you if you guys didn't know whenever you find a ship a crash ship similar to your multi-tool the amount of inventory slots and upgrades that are in it will depend on what you currently have. So my starship inventory right now has 29 slots. The one before this one, I found this ship by the way, not too long ago, uh, like 10 minutes ago. So the one before this one had 28 slots. So I found this crash ship and it had 29 slots. The next one I find will probably have 30, maybe it'll have 31. I don't know if you can get any higher, like 40, like a big jump, but we'll find out. So this one has 29 slots. When I find another one, it should have 30. Maybe it'll have 29, might have 28 around there. You know, it's kind of in the general area, but you're not going to get like a 10 slot ship or something stupid like that. If you have like a 30 slot ship, that doesn't, that's not how the game basically is programmed. So now you're probably asking yourself, well, Corey, how do I find crash ships? Do I just fly around, sh fly around the planet and like, just hope I see one, you know? There's a really easy way to find crash ships, and I'm going to show you guys right now. So what you want to do is you want to craft yourself a few bypass chips. These, which call your ship, and also they can do some pretty cool things for you when you find a trading post or one of these beacons, as I like to call them. So we're going to fly around a little bit, and let's try to find a beacon. The beacons are the little pillars with orange lights so actually here's one and there's one over there as well as you can see all right so we're gonna get out of our ship we're gonna go up to the beacon and this guarantees a crash ship so watch this we're gonna use our bypass chip and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for transmission there's a sentinel watching me. He's probably gonna fuck me. Yep, of course. So we found a beacon. Okay. That's actually not what we wanted, but that's okay. We can just use it again. What we want to find, it's not gonna give us a crash ship right away. I mean, it might. I think there's a possibility for it to do that, but what we want is a transmission tower. So, scan it. And over there we have a transmission tower and that's exactly what we want so see it took two tries the first one was a regular beacon which will find advanced life forms people you can talk to and uh transmission tower is what we are looking for because basically once we go to the transmission tower which is 30 seconds away once we go to the transmission tower th tower what i was reading thamium and i said thou or what the hell once we go to the transmission tower, there's going to be a little console that we're going to interact with. And it's going to give us a little mini game. Usually it's the one with the numbers, something like that. And if you get that right, which is pretty hard to get wrong, to be honest, because it's pretty easy. If you get it right, it will tell you where there's a distress signal. So therefore, where there's a crash ship. So let's go in here. I'm moving really slow right now. Okay. So we're going to go inside. Don't worry about that guy. We're not going to talk to him. And this is what we want right here. So this is a transmission tower. 
this says call bleeds from the system i can pinpoint the frequency blah 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 so this is what i've never seen this one actually uh 24 times three what is this what the hell is this five five divided by five what is what is going on divided by four most likely six i'm gonna go with six okay <laughs> I had actually not seen that one, but as you can see here, we solved that and we got a distress signal. And like I said, a distress signal is a crash ship. So let's head to our current ship. The hell? Yeah, All right. So let's go to which way is out? I always get confused. Okay. Now let's run back to our ship. Jump in our ship. I'm gonna fly up. Head towards the distress signal. Crash ship is 21 minutes away, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up outside of the atmosphere and we're gonna use our pulse drive that way we can get there faster. You know, we'll get it done. You can see, look at the ship is right there. 13 seconds away, not too bad. And hopefully, if we're lucky. This will be a better ship than ours. So hopefully a 30 slot or better. If it's 29, we're going to move on and rinse and repeat. And that's basically where you're going to go. So one thing I do recommend is you guys should have a lot of iridium and zinc in your inventory. Zinc, iridium, and iron. Because you're going to need the iron to make carrot sheets. You're going to need the iridium to repair the launch thrusters, I believe. And the zinc as well. So let's check this ship out. Pretty cool one too. So there you go. 30 slot ship. Compare it to ours. You can see 29 to 30. So you just got to repeat this process. Rinse and repeat. I'm going to transfer all my stuff over. And all you have to repair in the ship is the pulse engine and the launch thrusters. And then you can... That's the minimum amount of stuff. You don't have to repair all this. You can actually salvage this once you get the ship so you can get some... So you guys can get some elements and stuff some resources and uh yeah so that's how you do it guys as you can see i went 29 to 30 it only took me a few minutes whatever how long this video was and if you rinse and repeat keep doing this you will get to your 48 slot ship pretty quick so definitely way easier than grinding 60 something million for a, you know to to fucking buy a ship it's so stupid it's just so much easier to do this so i hope you guys enjoyed this and as always if you like the video please go ahead and click the like button below and make sure to subscribe this guy's shooting me man stop make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and uh, no man's guy content so again thank you guys for watching and have a great day